Hello guys, this is Indian Medico and in this video we are going to see about secondary attack rate. This is a concise presentation for medical students. Secondary attack rate is a term used in epidemiology. It is defined as the number of exposed persons developing the disease within the range of the incubation period following exposure to the primary case. It was developed to measure the spread of an infection within a family, household or any closed aggregate of persons who have had contact with the case of disease. Now let us see about the formula used to calculate secondary attack rate. Secondary attack rate is abbreviated as SAR. SAR is equal to number of exposed persons developing the disease within the range of the incubation period divided by total number of exposed or susceptible contacts into 100. A few points to remember about this formula is the denominator can be all persons who are exposed to the disease or the denominator can be restricted only to the susceptible contacts. Also, primary case is excluded from both numerator and denominator. Primary case is the person who develops the disease first in a family or community. Now let us see a problem regarding secondary attack rate. There is a family of six members consisting of two parents who are already immune and four children who are susceptible to measles. There occurs a primary case of measles. Within a short time, two secondary cases occur among the remaining children. Calculate the secondary attack rate. Now, the total persons in the family is 6. The number of immune persons is 2. The primary case is 1. So, the number of susceptible contacts is 6 minus 2 minus 1 is equal to 3. The secondary cases reported was 2. So, secondary attack rate is equal to number of exposed persons developing disease divided by total number of susceptible contacts into 100. In this case, it is 2 by 3 into 100. So, secondary attack rate is 66.6%. Now, what are the uses of secondary attack rate? Secondary attack rate can be used to measure the spread of an infection within a family, household or any closed aggregate of persons who have had contact with a case of disease. Vaccinees and non-vaccinees from several families can be added to determine the overall attack rates in the vaccinated and unvaccinated populations. Secondary attack rate can be used to determine whether a disease of unknown etiology is communicable or not. For example, it can be used to determine whether Hodgkin's disease is communicable or not. Secondary attack rate can be used to evaluate the effectiveness of control measures like isolation and immunization. Now let us see about the limitations of secondary attack rate. When the primary case is infective over a long period of time, for example in diseases like tuberculosis, duration of exposure should be considered. So the formula requires a slight modification. In this case, SAR equal to number of contacts developing tuberculosis divided by number of person weeks either in months or years of exposure into 100. For calculating secondary attack rate, sometimes it may be necessary to identify the susceptibles. Also, when there are numerous subclinical cases, lab investigations may be needed to calculate secondary attack rate. Thank you.